I talk to you guys every year at uh, TSConf, and one of the recurring questions I think every single year is, <laughs> when is TypeScript just going to build into the browser? Is this kind of the answer to that, finally? Yeah, I would say so. Um, I mean, so... Ah, uh, there, okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, history with this one, right? And like we've always given, a, I still think a pretty good answer overall, mm -hmm. right? And what does that answer typically run? Because <laughs> you usually put it really well. Boy, I don't remember what I say. Um, <laughs> I, I think the so what does it mean? Well, I mean, types in the browser means a lot of things to a lot of different people. Some people think that means static type checking in the browser, where before your code runs, some sort of type checking phase would occur. Some people think types in the browser means dynamic type checking. So um, you know, if you write a function and say this parameter is a string, then that nothing sort of happens until an actual call into that function occurs. For some people, types in the browser just means the proposal that we're putting here, which is types as comments. Um, and then some people have uh, even further out ideas, I guess. I think static, dynamic, and I guess comment only is sort of the three main classes of what I think of as uh, what people mean when they say types in the browser. So I think it's a it's a long side discussion to talk about why we think that the the static types and dynamic types in the browser aren't a good fit for JavaScript, and um, that's sort of the attitude that we've seen from TC39, which I think um, we're all sort of in pretty decent agreement with, I think, and then. Kind of what's left is, is types as comments, and that's what we're going with here. <laughs> <laughs>